Okay, let's talk about Pennsylvania grades four through eight core assessment. So this is a PECT um, exam or assessment. And uh, if you're watching this video, I assume you are uh, studying for this particular exam and you are uh, going to become a teacher or already are a teacher in the state of Pennsylvania. And the uh, code for this particular assessment is 5152. So um, in the education uh, teaching profession, every state has several certification exams and a lot of them have different codes and there's very specific uh, exams for all types of things. So you really need to know which exam or assessment you have to take, know that code and really uh, understand what is on you know that exam. And what we're gonna be talking about is the math section to this particular assessment. I have a math practice prom that I think you'll find uh, interesting. But before we get into that, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math and I'm a middle and high school math teacher. So, um, you know, I definitely know what it's like to take certification exams and teach in a classroom. And I always um, uh, talk in my videos when I'm talking to fellow teachers is that, you know, um, these particular exams or assessment, any certification exam, you never want to under underestimate them. You want to study hard because, uh, you know, people do fail these exams and sometimes more than once. And oftentimes uh, the math section for those who aren't teaching math, you know, uh, a lot of people find that the most difficult. But here's the thing. You can definitely, uh, you know, at this level of your profession, you've already learned all the math that you need uh, to pass this assessment. It's just a matter of going back and relearning it and brushing up on skills. And I like to kind of classify the math for uh, this grade four through eight core assessment. It's kind of high school level math, okay? You, and, you know, you're not, it's not basic math. You need to know algebra, geometry, amongst other topics, okay? So you have to study. Um, if you haven't been uh, studying, if you're kind of not sure, I would encourage you to really, you know, take a look what's on this assessment. Also, I want to let you know that I have an excellent math prep course uh, for this assessment. I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video, but more about that later. What I have for you is a uh, practice problem that you should definitely be able to handle, um, you know, at the level of math you need to know for this assessment. So let's take a look at this uh, quick problem. Now, if you get this problem right, okay, it's by no means a validation that you're all ready for this uh, exam. Yeah, but if you get it wrong, or if you're not really sure at all, that's definitely a red flag that you got to study uh, a lot more. So let's go ahead and take a look at the exam. I'll give you a chance, or sorry, the question. I'll give you a chance to solve it, and then of course I'm gonna solve it. But here I have an equation, okay? This is an equation of a line, okay? What we call a linear equation of math. And I have a point here, okay? So this is some point um, on the xy plane. Here, I'll give you kind of an additional clue. So here is our little graph, and here's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis. So this point is on the x-y plane, and I have a line, an equation of a line. What I want to know is the following. I want to know if this point, okay, is this point on this line? Okay, so I have a point, okay, some point out there, like so. I want to know if that point is on this line. Okay, so with that being said, even if you don't know how to solve this problem, you should still pause the video, think about it, and just, you know, toy around with it a little bit, and then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and solve it. Okay, so hopefully all of you out there uh, thought about this, and, of course, it's even better if you got it uh, right. And let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so here, let me kind of show graphically what's going on. And, uh, and then, of course, I'll solve this. This is really, really important stuff. And again, remember I was talking about this is like high school level math that you need to know for this exam. So this is what I'm doing here is pretty much stuff that you would see in maybe eighth grade, definitely ninth grade algebra or eighth grade pre-algebra, somewhere around that line. So this is not overly advanced, okay, uh, algebra by any uh, stretch of imagination. So I have a line here. This is an equation of a line or a linear equation. And it would be something like so. It's going to cross through the y-axis at 5 and have a slope of 2. So we can kind of imagine, it, whoops, it would look something like so, okay? So here, 
this is the equation of this is the line and this is the equation to that line so the question is asking is the point 3 2 on that line so we need to know how to plot points and lines on a graph you don't need to exactly know that to solve this problem but you but you need to know it anyway so 3 2 that's an x y ordered pair okay these are a pair of numbers and they're coming a particular order x first and the y second so this would be one, two, three on the um, x-axis, and then two on the y-axis. So it's kind of like over here. So this is kind of where three, two is at. So visually, and this is not the most accurate uh, uh, graph, but if you had a graph paper, okay, you could see that this point is not on this line. But we want to answer this question a little bit more precisely using algebra. So the way uh, to check this is the following, okay? And this is kind of what I would hope um, a lot of you uh, did out there. So I have an X coordinate, right? This is my X coordinate. And here is my Y coordinate. So if this point is in fact on this line, when I plug in two for Y, okay, I'm gonna replace this Y with two, and I'm going to replace this X here with three, okay? When I plug those in, this equation should balance. In other words, let's go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to plug in uh, 2 for y. Okay. All right, that's my 2 right there. And I have 2 times x is going to be 3 here, right? Plus 5. Okay. So I'm looking at this equation. And I'm saying, okay, 2, that's equal to 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 5. So does two, is 2 equal to 5? That's the question. It clearly isn't. So these values, when I plug them into my equation, it did not create a true statement. Okay. So only the um, points, if a point is in fact on this line, it would create a true statement. In other words, when I plug them in, um, uh, the left-hand side would be equal to the right-hand side. So that is uh, basically what I, hopefully you know you did. Okay. So, but if you answered the question and you said no the point is not on the line you need to have a good justification for it you know hopefully you didn't guess you know you got to know this stuff and this is real pretty basic algebra kind of uh, concepts now let's uh, just kind of mess around here for a second and ask ourselves okay what what's a point that uh, does lie on this line well we can just uh, make one up so let's use the point uh, one for x and now let's go ahead and get a y value, okay? So the way I can do that is, what is y when x is 1, okay? So let's see here, okay? I just need to get my y value. I'm going to select an x value, 1. So y would be equal to 2 times 1, or 2 plus 5. y would be equal to 7. So this is uh, basically, think of this as a question, is the point 1, 7 on this line? Okay, so we can kind of check this, all right? Of course it is, but uh, let's go ahead and verify that, 1, 7. So our y value is 7, my x value is 1. Okay, I just plug everything in, and I just check this equation. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 5, so 7 is in fact equal to 7. That is a true statement. So you can see this is yes, and this is no. Okay, so I can spend a lot of time going deeper into this, uh, talking about slopes of lines, various forms of lines, how to write the equation of lines. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff, and this is only one s subsection of algebra. So, you know, again, uh, the main idea with my videos is to really, you know, get you to pay attention to the amount of math you need to know, okay? It's just, you know, to really respect the... Um, you know, the level of math that you're going to be asked to, you know, perform at. Especially, this is kind of holds true oftentimes with elementary uh, teacher certifications. Um, sometimes people think, oh, I'm going to be an elementary teacher. I don't need to know this stuff. So I'm going to be teaching place values and fractions. No, you're going to, but pretty much all the certification exams that I've uh, researched many, uh, almost all of them, you need to know, you know, algebra, geometry, and this at the high school level. So, you know, um, you know, hopefully you've got a good game plan to prepare. But if you don't, again, i got an excellent uh, course, uh, math prep course for you. You can check that out again. 
uh, by following the link in the description. Um, I've been on YouTube for many, many years, and I have hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you like my teaching style, I'm always posting. I have, again, a lot of things uh, on my channel that could help you out now. So hopefully you consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, definitely would appreciate it. Thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, you know, any feedback is good. What uh, subject are you going to be teaching? How long have you been uh, teaching? Uh, have you, you know, are you switching careers? A lot of teachers are, you know, coming from different careers and there's a lot of great uh, paths, alternate route paths and whatnot. So any feedback is good feedback. I always learn something uh, when I read the comments. But uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Again, it's not my intention to scare you with the math. It's really more to help you, you know, alert you to how much math, you know, you do need to know so you can go into this uh, certification exam and pass it the first time out. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely uh, wish you all the best in your teaching career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.